Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit today about taking accountability, unapologetically taking all of the accountability that you can in your life, even when it's things that we feel like have nothing to do with us, okay? Whether you have a job that you're miserable at and your boss talks to you like shit or you're in a relationship or you have friends around you that aren't healthy, um, understanding that even though you may not actively participate in those things that you could vary, you, there, you are the reason why you ended up in that situation. So what, what type of things do you have to start looking at within yourselves to, um, to understand how you ended up in that position, how, to understand how you ended up in a position to where, like what led up to that point, you know, like what has led up to that point? What were the beliefs you had about yourself to where you had to end up to that point? Not only did you end up in that point, you haven't gotten out of that point yet. You haven't gotten out of that shitty job where your boss talks to you like shit. You haven't gotten out of those friendships where your friends are doing reckless shit all the time. You haven't gotten out of that relationship where you're disrespected every day. You've, you're, you're staying in situations. Why? It's important to ask yourself why. And as soon as I started asking myself why, because there are a lot, there, I'm not gonna lie, like there are a lot of times where I don't wanna take complete accountability of my life. Like I left a job maybe seven months ago or eight months ago, seven months ago. My, my, my bosses talked to me like absolute shit. And I just was miserable every single day. And then I asked myself like, why haven't I left yet? Why do I feel like I have to stay here? And I took accountability for that. Okay, like what can I do in this moment? That's what I asked myself. Like what can I do in this moment right now to see or to get out of this situation and start taking action rather than being miserable every day and showing up on the verge of tears because I just wasn't happy. So I ended up talking to um, my other job and just said, hey, this is how I'm feeling right now. And I was just honest with them, fucking miserable at my other job is there any way you could you could give me the shifts that I need and they're like absolutely like of course so just being proactive about that um you know cutting off friendships being proactive about that and it's not, like with these friendships it's not like I hated these people or like these relationships I don't hate anybody that has ever been in my life you know I don't dislike them um and it doesn't mean that I it doesn't mean that I don't care about them. Of course I care about people's overall well-being. But the decisions that they make, I think is a direct reflection of what direction they're going in. Therefore, if they're going in a in a direction that's self-destructive because I'll tag along, you know, like knowing me if if I want to spend time with people and they want to go out and party or they want to do something reckless, whatever it is, like I'm gonna join them for the most part. And that affects my life tremendously. Like it affects my mental health, it affects my physical health, it affects my spiritual health, it affects my purpose. Like just to like feel a part of with people that I care about, you know? Or maybe they don't treat me the greatest and, but I care about them. And for so long, like I stayed in people's lives because I told myself that like, I was strong, like I'm fine. You know, I gotta be here to love these people and I gotta be here to like show them that there's another way. But if that door isn't open for them already, if they're not interested in knowing another way or trying to figure out another way, then you're wasting your time. And unfortunately, you've gotta take a step back and really evaluate what's going on, you know? If they're actively working on themselves and trying to get out of bad situations and trying to learn and trying to grow and you can see some progress then absolutely like not everybody's perfect and I think it's important to have friends like that around you that are are actively doing things every day to improve their lives but there will be people around you a lot of people around you that won't take complete accountability for everything that happens in their lives they'll continue to blame their circumstances and the people around them and that's not going to do anything except keep them stuck where they're at and it fucking sucks, dude. It sucks to like have those conversations with friends and tell them like, hey, I fucking love you, but like 
I can't watch you be so self-destructive, you know, like, um, and to put distance and to break off friendships and break off relationships. Like it sucks. It's not something that's easy, but when you do things that you don't want to do for the greater well-being, to be the best version of you, to bring out the best version of you, I have have learned that the universe always gifts us with things. It always gifts us and rewards us when we do things we don't want to do, when we do things that are scary, when we do things that are uncomfortable, when we do things where we really have to have complete faith that things will work out. The universe has always gifted me. Every single time, every single time. And when I don't do those things, it essentially punishes me by me feeling miserable, by making the circumstances worse. Maybe that friend starts to disrespect you more or that relationship starts to disrespect you more or that job, your bosses start to disrespect you more. You get more miserable, you're crying more. Like it's just gonna get worse and worse and worse until you rip off the fucking band-aid and do what you gotta do and be proactive. And when you do that, the universe gifts you with things. And it's really fucking cool how it works. It is really, really cool how it works. And, when, and the first time it happens to you, it'll be like for me personally, like the first time anything has happened to where it felt like the universe was rewarding me for what I was doing, it was like, Holy shit. Holy shit. That's crazy. So I've kind of learned to just kind of lean into that uncomfortability, try to tap in and stay aligned with who I want to be. Not necessarily who I am now, but like when I think of the future version of me, the future version of me has a certain set of standards, has certain types of people around them, has certain characteristics, for the people around them and themselves. So when I think about like